I'm going to teach you now how to create fake cuts. The first thing is uh, we're going to clean the area where we're going to put the cut. So I'm just going to take a little spritz of alcohol and clean this area here. Now that that's nice and clean, I'm going to put down some spirit gum to make the skin tacky so that the mortician's wax that we're going to use will stay. Now I just want to show you really quick, this is the wax that I'm going to use. It's mortician's wax. It looks like this. If you are at your local store, um, you can use scar wax. That's usually what they sell in things like Halloween stores. Um, there are a lot of different brands of scar wax. I know that Ben Nye makes a nose putty slash scar wax that's really great. Um, and this is what I'll be using. So to use spirit gum, I'm gonna take a Q-tip like this. I'm gonna open the spirit gum. And I'm going to apply just a little bit. Spirit gum is something that people sometimes are highly allergic to, so you want to test your models first to make sure that they're not allergic. I'm just going to put a little dab right here on her wrist to make sure. We're going to just let that dry for a minute, and if it doesn't turn red and itchy, we're probably fine. Okay, now I'm going to apply a really thin layer of spirit gum where I want the wax to go in the shape of the cut. Spirit gum does not work unless it's activated. It takes a few minutes for the air to hit it and become tacky. So I'm just gonna spread that out. And then to make sure it's tacky, I'm gonna tap it with the tip of my Q-tip. And you'll be able to see it becomes kind of stringy and sticky like maple syrup. Okay, so it's tacky now. Mm -hmm.